Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list with an incredible selection of furniture, decor, and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. This is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies. And I'm Patrick Serrano. I'm a lifetime movie expert, and this is the The Deck of Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Fantastic. We're back, everybody. <laughs> you know, one of our latest reviews on the Apple Podcast called us the morning zoo of Hallmark. Really? I wonder, I wonder where they got that from. I wonder where wow. we could possibly be compared to the morning zoo of Hallmark. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't get it. Yeah. Personally. We're yeah. so much more sophisticated than that. Hey. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to do an arm fart? <laughs> do an arm fart. And what you were doing is, is you were making the sound with your mouth, right? But it was because it wasn't going to come but it across. Wasn't a fart sound. No, <laughs> you know this is an audio, audio, audio medium, right? Like you don't have to do it. Yeah. Well, I realize that. Now. Well, then try it. Try it for real, since this is audio. All right. Let's, let's it do it. Up. Let's. I can't do it. <laughs> I will say no. I think it's because I've gotten a little. I'm a little bigger, no, and so it's no, just it's no. tougher to get the the suction. I would think the bigger you help. are, the that better the noise. The you, you would, would think, think so. I don't know. I have no. That's Man, my working. Patrick theory. is signing off as uh, we speak. Yeah, boy. Wait, what's the morning zoo? Is that a show? <laughs> a morning zoo is like that old radio show that has all the buttons. That's like point 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 am and like. It's that's just like they, yeah. normal morning shows, basically. Yeah. It's just like uh, a lot okay. of noise. I've never heard stuff. that never heard that term. Oh. I'm I'm picturing like animals, like we're like, mm-hmm. you know, walking around. Not an know. actual zoo. But a gorilla's up there. He's like, hey, all right. I got a I got a really good song for you today. It's a beat. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gorilla Gary flipping track. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome on the show, Larry the Lion. Larry, how are you? <laughs> um, it's an exciting day today because for everybody out there that hasn't been listening to Deck the Lifetime Uncorked, they think, oh, I don't do Lifetime. Oh, I'm Hallmark only in this house. First of all, you're missing out. Second of yeah. all, you're missing out on, on, on Patrick. Uh, Patrick, host of Deck the Lifetime Uncorked, uh, editor a writer extraordinaire for LifetimeOfCork.com. Uh, Patrick, welcome to the uh, an official Deck the Hallmark episode. It's great to have you, pal. I know. I'm back for a real episode, not a preview episode. This is like a dream come true. You know, <laughs> I, I've been waiting for this moment. Uh, some people wait for... Uh, what is it that Kelly Clarkson song? <laughs> Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Any any new listeners we got from Kelly Clarkson are tuning this and be like, they don't know Kelly. I'm out. <laughs> Patrick, um, we we had you on in 2018 before for preview episode six before we did even one season. Yeah, and yeah. have you taken it personally that you've not come back for an actual episode since then? No, you guys have been busy. You know, I've been doing my thing. So I, I knew it would come. I knew the call would come. And, and when the call comes, you have to show up. So here I am. There and it's are. not like Patrick hasn't been doing his no own kidding. stuff. Like, yeah. we, we are all doing stuff. We, I got to be honest. When we started the podcast, this is true, Patrick. I've never told you this. I listened to an episode of Lifetime on Court before Brand and I were going to be guests. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is funnier than anything that we're going to do. Yep. It's funnier than anything we're going to do. <laughs> and I can't uh, believe we can, we're going to continue to do our, our dumb Hallmark shtick when people can go and listen to this guy because he's hysterical. I'm not making that up. You're that funny. And so if, for people that haven't checked out you. Lifetime on Court, 
he the, the guys the OG, a riot. The OG Epps. That's with, exactly with Drew right. Drew Bear, like it the doesn't whole game. it doesn't get any better. I mean, come on, it is uh, funny. Real but it's funny. been an absolute. It, uh, it is uh, not not family friendly. Let's put it. Let's put <laughs> yes, that in there. Fair. It is definitely yes. cleaned up my. Cleaned, I've cleaned up my act for you guys. Okay? This this is the Godwink episode. So <laughs> let's let's make sure we put that disclaimer <laughs> Keep, out there. God shwing. may not be winking at you to listen to Light Tone Court, but I would suggest I'll wink at you. <laughs> I'll give you a wink to go. Yeah, over there it's, and a check it out. it's a Dan wink. It's a Dan wink. It's a Dan wink. That's right. Shwing. Close, close, yeah. <laughs> that's the the sound. We don't have chimes. We just have. <laughs> that's the sound. Yeah, of, that's oh, horrifying. <laughs> I know. When but, Dan winks, life stops. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Uh, but Patrick, it's been an absolute joy to have you on all uh, season covering some Lifetime movies since you are a Lifetime movie expert. I do want to ask you, and I haven't asked you this, um, best, if somebody's going to watch a, a one Lifetime Christmas movie this year, you know, the Christmas week is upon us. We're getting real close to being one week away from Christmas. Maybe someone wants to squeeze in a Lifetime. What's the one that you're sending them to this year? And why is it Reba? Okay. Yes. I, well, uh, we, we all know it's Reba. Okay. Like gather the family around, put on your sequence dresses or suits or whatever you want to wear. I don't care. Um, and just get ready to uh, be charmed by Reba. And, uh, you know, she has so many uh, light up candles that it's amazing and you'll just love it. There's singing, there's dancing, there's Reba. What, what, there's Christmas. What more could you want? That's Christmas in tune, everybody. Yeah. And that's not a cartoon, T-O-O-N. Oh, no. I found that out though. Oh, no. Reba, Reba. But you can listen, you can watch the movie and then you can listen to the Deck the Lifetime Uncorked episode where we review it and have, have a lot of fun with that. Uh, it, it's a, it's an absolute blast. And Dan, you've enjoyed the Deck the Lifetime on Cork episodes because you don't have to watch the movies. I don't have to watch the movies, and I get the pleasure of, of these two guys' company. How and mad so, are you I mean, that you don't get to do that for every movie? You know, occasionally, like, I want to be in on it. You know, like, there's some movies, like the one we're going to talk about tonight, that I feel like you really have to be there. You have yeah. to be there. But there's other times where I'm more than content to just listen to... You two, and I get the biggest kick out of it. It's like I get to listen to the episode first, and I just chime in occasionally with my own thoughts, which is wonderful. It is the laziest podcasting I get to do, which is great because <laughs> I show up during my planning period of teaching to do it. And so right. it works out great. I show up, Patrick can attest. I got a Reese cup in one hand, a sandwich in the other, <laughs> trying to eat real quick, do it, do an episode, hey. get back to work. So it's it's been a blast. I have loved every second of it. It's the so uh, it's so the fun. highest form of art. Yeah, it uh, is. what Dan is doing. Uh, real quick before we dive into the God Wink, uh, Universal Yums. I believe I saw on the Facebook today they, there was an Universal Yums app. They know me. Facebook does, and uh, an ad, and it said that you could uh, still order and get it in time for Christmas. So you can still get the Christmas box, from what I understand, if you order like right now. Right now. Mm. So right now. Uh, go to yeah. universalyums.com/hallmark to get the official snack of the holiday season. You're not going to regret that. A big old box. And uh, guys, we had the honor of getting to vote on window. The window displays we did of yes, yeah that did. greenville that's true and i was uh i two things came to mind one what a great city we I live mean, in come mm -hmm. on so the best good. and city. two as much as i love our studio here in and uh you know off lawrence road i want to move uh, to downtown on main street so we can do a window because i feel like we could compete with the best of them we boys. could i think we could especially if we hired it out in our double deckers oh, we could definitely oh compete gosh. at that if point. we get if we get a, a, a colon down there yeah, and, a, and a callaway and a, and callaway. a sabaga then oh. it's a, and a grimes oh yeah, my it's gosh done at that point. grimes is Stop just it. one one giant yarn i mean uh, come everything's on. yarn it's unbelievable yep. yeah yarn yeah. for days so anyway i could take the pictures we're yeah. good to go oh i love gosh. it i love yeah. it but yeah yeah that greenville come on down everybody because i think you're gonna have a fun time and we're not moving to main street anytime soon because no, that junk not. is expensive uh bramblejamplus.com <laughs> yes, bramblejamplus.com uh join the fun uh on the facebook group that's and right. maybe you can get a shout out for your hobbies like yarn and photography uh guys are you ready to dive into godwink uh yes please godwink for what if godwink was one of us <laughs> <laughs> uh very exciting patrick's here he's going to do the synopsis because uh it's an art form yes and it is he uh he's the uh who's a good artist uh john ralphio john ralphio would be a great he's the one. john ralphio <laughs> Uh, of, yeah, syn okay. of, of synopses uh, but Godwink Miracle of Love originally aired on J December 11th 2021 and it went a little something like this Joy has beauty and brains, okay? So we just started putting that in our cap. Uh, she has it all. She just got her doctorate and she's getting job applications sent around the world, okay? Uh, 
next we have Eric. Eric, um, he only has beauty. He doesn't have brains. He's failed his um, pastor exam twice. I didn't even know there was a pastor exam. Um, but he is in the process of transitioning to the lucrative career of writing. He's going to be a writer. Oh, he's, so he's so dumb. He's so dumb. He's so dumb. Uh, so they both decide to take a little break, you know, from the job hunt to help others, okay? And they accept a fellowship to Advent in Oshkosh, air quotes, bagosh, after it always. <laughs> uh, Joy and Eric accidentally get into the same ride share as you do, and they realize they're going to the same place. So they're like, let's just ride together. And they ride together and they have fun. Um, and when they... They get to Oshkosh, but gosh, Eric <laughs> and Joy, they get Kringles, which I know are your Kringles. Kringles! <laughs> yes. And they <laughs> talk about their hopes and dreams, you know, as, as one does. And they spend most of the time while they're there, like demoing a home. And it's not like a cool HG, HGTV demo. They just like write on walls and like paint it over the writing. And that's like symbolic. Um, <laughs> There's also a hunk named Tony who owns the house and he has a very pregnant wife and a little kid who doesn't want to move. Um, so Joy lives up to her name. She's singing and doing carols all over the place. Um, but the home repairs are interrupted by Joy's pesky boyfriend, Danny. Ugh. And Danny, he buys her a house. He didn't tell her he was like going to buy her house. And he tells her that he loves her. But she's like really not feeling it. And she doesn't <laughs> say she loves him back. And that really like hurt my feelings. <laughs> um, and Joy admits that she's like con like conflicted about the relationship. And she talks to the inn owner, Katie, who tells her all about Godwings, which is the title of this movie, and encourages her to look for signs everywhere because if it's meant to be, God will wink at you and then you can be with Eric. Um, <laughs> Joy finally comes clean about her boyfriend just as her and Eric are about to kiss. It's like the worst timing ever. Um, and he's like, you know what? Like, let's put a pin in this. We're going back to our lives. We've known, only known each other for two weeks. And then let's see. Oh, before he leaves, he gives her a compass necklace and the necklace is her way to find her way back to him. So she goes home. She talks to her dad about God wings and he's like, follow your heart. Um, Eric gets word that Oh, she also breaks up with Danny while she's there. I almost forgot he was in this movie. Um, <laughs> Eric gets word that Joy is coming back, and he's so excited. He goes to the airport to pick her up, and as he's getting into the car, there's a car trouble. I, I don't know what the problem was. I'm not a mechanic, but he goes under the car. He gets, uh, like, something triggers a parking brake, and the car literally runs him over. <laughs> <laughs> not my yeah, hallmark. Yeah, it was... It was crazy. Um, so Joy is and the townies, they all pray for him. And the nurse is like, well, it's really weird. When Joy's in the room, his, he stabilizes. His, his little beep beeps are totally good. When he leaves, flatline. <laughs> and um, that's really, truly what happens because it's a miracle. And she's a miracle. And she gives him the necklace. And she says, find your way back to me, baby, sweetie, sweetie pie. And then he does. And she helps him f through physical therapy. And then he gets a job at a newspaper. <laughs> and that is a Godwin Christmas miracle of love. Yeah! yeah. Oh my goodness. We did wow. it. Nicely done, Ooh. sir. Man. Thank Man. you. I got always, lost a little bit, but I just improvised. I just, it always is inspiring. Always I, is inspiring. I feel like God's winking at God me winks right at every one of Patrick's synopses. Yeah. You think so? Yes. That's yeah, awesome. Sure. Yeah, so he's tearing up. He's like, oh, man, I guess I, what's that in my eye? What's that in my eye? Is that just, a big old God Just tear? one of them. Just one old? of my eyes. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and we are going to come back and talk about the fact that a man got run over <laughs> by a car in a Hallmark movie. Mm. It's a lot. We'll be right back here on Deck the Hallmark. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh snap! It's time. Let's do it. Oh, my goodness. Can I tell you something right what do you, now? What do you think it is? I got a couple of weeks off. Okay. And you know what I'm sick of? What are you sick of? Staring at my terrible window and coverings. And I, I hate your window coverings. They're I, awful. I'm offended by your windows covering. Your window covers are well, you nothing. Know what? You know what? I got some cash for Christmas. Okay. But not enough to get the good stuff. And I want the good stuff. The good window coverings. Well, I've got the good news for you. Dude, blind chalet? Blind chalet. But Bl I just, I need a discount break. Will you just pipe down and let me tell you the okay, good news? please. Blind chalet is going to give you the good stuff. 
but at the bad stuff cost. Let me explain. What? <laughs> Blind Chalet is going to give our listeners 55% off. 55% off. Their entire order. You could get window coverings for your entire house, for your neighbor's house, for your dog house, and still get 55% off of all of that stuff. So you get the good stuff, but at 55% off, it makes it like the bad stuff. You can get the good stuff at the bad stuff prices? Yes, 55% what off. What are you waiting for? That's what I'm saying. All you got to do is go to <laughs> blindchalet.com and enter Walmart 55. That is blindchalet.com and enter Hallmark. 55. Hallmark. 55. Hallmark. Hallmark 55. Not Hallmark. It's Hallmark Hall. 55. Yeah. To get 55% off your first order, that's blindchalet.com. And don't forget, the entire holiday season is brought to you by Philo. Philo, you can watch Lifetime. You can watch Hallmark. You can watch The Gack. You can watch uh, uh, the, the, the BET, uh, VH1, Up. up. Yep. INSP. So many All holiday things. movie hub. The holiday, holiday movie, movie hub. hub. And you get 25% off two months. That's going to last you through the winter movies on the Hallmark right. Channel. Right. Uh, all you got to do is go to philo.tv slash DTH. That is philo.tv slash DTH to get 25% off today. I mean, what are we doing? Patrick's up there looking like, how do we even have any ads? You told him to go to Frolmark 55. <laughs> That I that killed me. I, I mean, I, lo- I almost lost it. But on, on but Walmart. but be honest, you just bought a, a bought a, a ton of, of window coverings. I did. I yeah. did actually. Yeah. Uh, we need window coverings in Chicago because it's gets chilly. So yeah. the discount really is nice. So well, what's I'm wild is, is he put in Frolmark fifty five and paid full price. He uh, paid good mm. stuff prices. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I was into it. I was like, whatever, <laughs> whatever it takes. Yeah. Hallmark fifty five. Everybody. Hallmark. The, the show that we're so doing. The one here. thing you can't mess up is the code. <laughs> no, the URL as yeah, well. That's important. There's a couple of things. Yeah, that's uh, and that's what tricks me up. Hey, I, and by where the, was the R? Um, Fromark. Fromark. So, Fromark. <laughs> frolic your way to Hallmark 55. That's right. Hey, um, let's do this. Let's start with the hot take. Mm. Let's share exactly how we felt about this movie. This is our fourth Godwink movie. Fourth one, yes. baby. Many oh years. My four gosh. seasons, four Godwinks. Uh, I think we've disliked all of them. I can look at the book and find out. But Panda, let's kick things off. What did you think about God Wing Feeling good about this guy. Guys, let me tell you, I love trilogies in general. I think trilogies are a lot of fun. But then when you go to a fourth one, Mm. that's that's uh, it's a risky. It's risky. Uh, A lot of things can go wrong. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars has been a little shaky after the first three. Yeah. Uh, When you think about the Matrix, uh, Mm. the fourth one's coming out. Will it be the trilogy? Would, well, eh, the trilogy wasn't good either. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't Indiana fantastic. Jones. But Indiana Jones is a great one. example. Real fourth bad. One, real bad. Yeah. Uh, we'll see about the Matrix. Well, yeah, that's yeah, TBD. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I came into this with some fear and trepidation, especially <laughs> since we had such a banger of a trilogy to start but with. But say, here. what happens when the trilogy's <laughs> bad, Panda? Yeah, I don't know. Hey guys, guys, I just read the book. We don't like any of these movies. <laughs> <laughs> it's just then. Hey guys, I got some bad news. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fourth isn't looking real hot either. Uh, guys, this movie is the craziest of the Godwinks. Like, it, <laughs> I, I, I don't know any other way of saying it. This movie is hot garbage. Yep. It is so bad. It has made... A, we, we ragged on the other movies for being like, oh, man, the acting, all this stuff. This movie takes the cake. The acting's atrocious. The plot is ridiculous. It is an all-time bad for me for this year. It, it's in my bottom bottom five. But that said... <laughs> <laughs> I was entertained the whole freaking time. I don't know where that puts me on this. It's the whole time you were entertained. Yeah. Start to it wasn't, send to Stern. It wasn't uh, just when he got uh, ran over. I, here's what it was. Some guy got run it, it, over it, by uh, his own truck. I think those final 30 minutes. <laughs> tinker and with things he should and tinker. <laughs> Is that starter underneath the car? <laughs> Probably I, closer to the top, you dummy. <laughs> <laughs> my starter it's gonna be way under here oh no oh, oh. starter don't don't give me my wrench <laughs> i here's the deal i was entertained and mostly because i couldn't believe that this ever aired yeah. it is, oh, look. i just i could not look. believe i could not believe it. for even a hallmark movie this is next level it was like they threw this together on the cheapest budget they could have possibly found, the acting was, the lines were delivered with with the passion of 
a, a middle, middle school like impromptu play, like when you hand the kid a little script up front. It was guys. You're it like, was did brutal. this air on Frawmark or something? Frawmark. This is br- guys. It was brutal. <laughs> I but somehow I will never forget this movie. There you go. I forgot the other Godwings. I couldn't tell you between this one. I will never forget. Yeah. No. So there no, you go. That's where I'm at. Patrick, have you seen a Godwing before? Or was this your first uh, first? Dream? Oh no, I've experienced them all, and um, <laughs> yeah, I experienced this one as well. Yeah, you yeah. did. <laughs> uh, share with us your hot take. What do you think about this one? So here's the thing. I'm coming from Lifetime World, right? Which is really bleak right now because they're doing, sit. what is it, 30 movies in 30 days or it's, something yeah, crazy? A lot. Uh, every night, a new movie. And every night, they aren't that great, except <laughs> for the ones with people that are stars that you would know. Um, so this movie was refreshing okay i was like <laughs> yes i love god winks i i understand what that means and um you know there's there's action there was a, a car scene a car scene there was um there was a airport that was there it, it was great it was great <laughs> um you know and, and also where we have new talent coming in right so we have the the girl who played joy and the guy and and they're new i've never seen them before so <laughs> I, I thought that was fun that they're getting an opportunity maybe they're the future of hallmark and maybe maybe that's what we have to look forward to right um, oh wow so so yeah so um I would say it wasn't good. I didn't <laughs> like it. But, you know, when he got, when that car came in, I was like, I gasped and I was like, uh-huh. oh my goodness. I did not see that coming. And um, yeah, I'd say I was entertained. We're, Sadly, I, I really was. We're flying back from uh, from New Jersey, from Christmas Con. And I'm watching this on the plane and Bran is sitting next to me and that car runs him over. And I literally just throw my hands in the air like this. Yep. Like I, I just. Think, I think that's what everybody did when they when they when couldn't they believe car. what I was gasped. happening. Yes. I couldn't believe it. A hundred out of a hundred people wouldn't have got like. There's not no. a single person who would have guessed that this movie gets he gets run over. No. I don't think it would happen. I didn't see. No. It's crazy. Um. So first of all, I want to say this. I think we can all agree. Oshkosh Bagosh fantastic company yes yes uh they make great stuff and i did a deep dive and they are from oshkosh wisconsin so oh, wow. that's great there you go cool um <laughs> if you guys recall <laughs> shout out to oshkosh uh, yeah what's going on here <laughs> enter uh, a guys, promo code uh, frawmark at did, checkout did i buy stock at oshkosh today? <laughs> yes um so if you guys remember last year i talked about how the god wink movies like they're not they're not winky enough. Like they're just like standard Hallmark movies. Like uh, oh, this is a coincidence. Like oh, I fell in love. That's a god wink. It wasn't winky enough. This was pretty winky. This was winky. The guy gets run over and the girl can't leave the room. <laughs> that that's winky. That's not that's, a wink. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty winky. That's a lot. So I will say this. Uh, kudos to the Godwing franchise for upping the stakes mightily. And I would just say take it down a notch because I wasn't expecting it. That was so shocking. It's been too winky and now it's and now right. it's too winky. Yeah. Guys, I'm sitting down on, on my couch. I turn on Hallmark. I'm ready for a good time. And the guy gets run over. There's no warning. That was that was winky. Uh, yeah. so I didn't see that coming. You think him getting run over was a god wink? <laughs> God, I don't, God looked down at that that tow truck that that uh, snowplow and gave it the old winksy and it ran him over stem to stern. That's what happened. Uh, <laughs> I mean, again, we don't need to get into the the theology of God's sovereignty here. I well, depend, our lead I, can't get into it because he's run over <laughs> and he failed his preaching classes <laughs> twice. <laughs> I won't get to that. <laughs> this is all I'm trying to say. No, the movie is not great. Yes, the stakes are significantly higher than any other Godwink movie, and so kudos to that. Uh, I agree with what everybody has said about uh, the, the acting in this movie. It's not the uh, there's a lot there's a lot here, um, but I did have a good time. I had fun. This is my, probably my favorite of the Godwink franchise because uh, I, I I actually enjoy this one and things really happen. So uh, wow. uh, kudos. Your I favorite your, one. I it's name another one. Meant for love. What was that? This is a Busby one. Okay. And they, what? Weren't the cars like pointing in the same direction? The the first one, I, the first <laughs> no, one no, is no, Paul that Campbell was, and Kimberly Sustad. And it's, I, know, I know about your MS. 
across the street. Yeah, that that's happened. A in that that's movie. him. That's, yeah. Yes, that's that. Movie. He's the MS guy. They do the card across the street. I know about your MS. That that's one's a, that's that one a probably, better one. That, that one's probably my favorite. Yeah, and then this one. But there's, there's a one. carousel in it. Yeah, I remember the carousel. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, Brooke, that, Brooke had one last year that was better. This is a terrible movie. Nah, this one's fun. This one's fun. No, it's and a guy gets run over. Fun. Uh, all I'm trying to say is uh, good good times. <laughs> good times. And, that, and that's why I'll leave it. Dan? Guys, there comes a time. Give me one. No, give me one right here. Give me one. full boy? F full boy. Uh, we have a lot of fun here at Deck the Hallmark. Um, but something that apparently we cannot joke about is the God Wink. Uh, because these movies have become an absolute cancer in Hallmark's soul. <laughs> th th this is an atrocity. It started as a seemingly just benign bad movie with two good leads, and it has snowballed into something that is simultaneously unwatchable and that you cannot take your eyes off of. Every year, we mark our calendars for what is going to be the worst movie of the year, and it's the God Wink. If God's winking, he's winking at bad quality. That's what he's winking at. This movie is terrible. It's colossally dumb. And the only thing that makes it worse is, is that somehow we determined that we found a true story with a guy that almost dies. And so we pigeonhole that into a fun Hallmark movie so that we are forced to take it seriously. And I'm sorry, I can't take it seriously. This thing's dumb. It's bad. It's got a truckload of weight. What's the acting is suspect at best. It is an equal opportunity offender of people of faith and atheists alike. It, it, it has no business being on any channel from Hallmark all the way through your entire TV guide lineup, whether you have friendly or direct TV. Stop it. Stop putting these on the air. I'm done. I can't do another one. If it gets any worse, it's just going to be a picture of white noise for an hour and a half. I can't do it. I can't. It's awful. But were it, you not entertained? I, the last 20 minutes jolted me awake. The first hour of this movie, I was bored to tears and thought it can't get worse. And then I got jumper cables hooked up to my sternum. And this guy got run over by his own, his own truck. His own truck like a moron. And I was like, how can they top this? And they're like, I'll see you ran over by your own truck. And I'll raise you, leaves the room, and, and vitals drop. <laughs> I just can't imagine. I can't imagine a world where this is making it on television. Not even on like me TV or like public broadcasting. Like I just, it's terrible. It's awful and it's embarrassing and everyone involved should be ashamed. So Cindy Busby has had MS with Benjamin uh, Hollandsworth. Uh, Paul Campbell um, and Kimberly Sussat is. I think it's just the the, uh, the original, carousel. Just the carousel can't doesn't work or so something. So I, I I combine the yeah, two. Yeah, and then the I cars think. coming together. Yeah, mm. that's that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you dice it though. <laughs> I know about your MS. Uh, let's get to all the feels. It's part of the show. We talk about one of this movie gave us feels. Panda. Yeah. How about when he gets run over by a car? <laughs> 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 Otherwise, there's not a feel to be found in this. Uh, like, it's a. How can you get feels when every line is delivered? Like, they're just. I, I don't. It's just the worst, guys. I don't even know. No, but him getting run over by a car was shocked. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick? Well, you know, they wanted me to feel all the feels with that necklace. Okay. That necklace, they set it up at the beginning. He's like, find your way mm. back to me. Uh, and she was like, all right. And she puts it on. And then she's like sitting by the hospital bed and she like takes it off and she like puts it in his cold dead hands. And she's just like, <laughs> please come back to me. Um, so that was supposed to give me feeling. Um, and it did. I, I think I need a, ne a compass necklace now so I can find my true love. And that would be amazing. <laughs> it would be awesome. You know? Yeah. So it, it gave me an idea. I don't know if it gave me a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys remember when Kathy Lee was a part of these movies? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Even she's like, I can't. <laughs> I think that was the one actual God wink. Yeah. God was like, you get her out here. You get out. <laughs> um, <laughs> on a serious note, I oh, didn't boy. love like the explanations or the notes that were written on the door. But I do like, I think the it's, concept. A, I think it, I like the concept. I thought all the notes for 
very dumb, and I didn't like them talking about it. But I like the idea of it, of writing on walls before you move in and stuff like that. I'm, I I like that. And so, uh, yeah, that gave me some... But some, not a fan of their generic... Uh, <laughs> their <laughs> love is on these walls and in your heart. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> um, I, uh, there's a scene in this movie where a doctor tells a kid that they have to eat cheeseburgers every night. And... Uh, <laughs> And I will say this, you're going to be surprised at what I say next. That is not ridiculous because it happened to me hey. in real life. I was in a massive wow. car accident when I was 16 years old. I broke my femur and I lost a lot of blood and my hemoglobin level or something dropped to <laughs> a, a dangerously low level. And I was in the hospital for a week. I got home from the hospital and my parents informed me that I was supposed to legitimately just eat as many cheeseburgers as I could. And I honestly was like, we were like, these drugs are amazing. <laughs> and, and come to find out my iron level was low and that was the quickest way to raise my iron level. And so it was awesome. I literally sat in a chair and ate cheeseburgers and played video games for like a month. And, and, and I, I probably gained 30 pounds. But I was here for it. So what, what's uh, what's your excuse now? You're yeah, getting yeah, still low there, no, no, cheeseburger? No, 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 no. The doctor just, told him that. Like, I just, yeah, the doctor told me How many years ago? A doctor years told ago, me. And I'm still on it. I'm like, hey, I just need to sit and eat beef. It's an all-time pass. You get to do whatever you want to. I am getting word here on the Facebook group. You can watch live at RemedyPlus.com that he did get run over in real life. That's a part of the true story. Yeah. And someone tagged me. I'm not the one that called him dumb for doing so. That was Dan. I... I, I think we were all just very surprised that it happened. Here's what I can tell you. Is can you the, the guy in real life, there is no world where he knows the starter is bad in his car. We'll do it now. I got more weight what's. The starter is bad in that car. The starter. There is no world where he clicks it and goes, I got to get underneath this bad boy. He, there's no world. He's not trying to get that starter fixed from underneath the truck. Okay, here's the only reason why. Let me ask you a question. Was this a thing back, like, because they were an older couple. They modernized this. So how about in, like, the 1930s or 40s? Is that possible? 30s or 40s? Because, look, they were, I don't think either one are here's still alive today. Here's what I think today, is, is possible is that the, the parking brake system of the 30s and 40s failed a lot worse than it is now. Yes. That's possible. But I feel like there had to be a different reason that he got under the car. I don't know. That was I my would never ever get under a <laughs> no. car in any circumstance. Why, hear me out. While parked next to a curb in front of a diner, like I, I just I, I don't know why you would you would do that under any circumstance. It's freezing cold. You on part a hill. Of, like I just I, on a hill <laughs> where as soon as the parking brake goes, even though mind you, the car's still in park. It's still in park. So not only did the parking brake go, but somebody oh. shifted that lever to neutral. That was God or a ghost, or maybe that was a demon. I don't know. Somebody popped that one down real quick. Do you think the demons are working? Like, oh, working it's, a, a, it's a demon dig and a god wink. <laughs> They're back and forth. Because if the parking brake goes, the car's still in park. The parking brake snapping shouldn't cause the car to roll on him. Hmm. <laughs> Unless it shifted out of park, which it wasn't. Maybe. <laughs> I just want to know the true story. I guess I need to do Here's a little what more research. In the true story, he was driving a stick shift because it happened 50-some years ago. And that means it's in neutral. And as soon as the parking breaks off, it's in neutral and it rolls down the thing. That's what happened. But in this movie, no, no. Cars in park. Yeah. That's tough. bad. That's tough. That's, Real bad. That's a sticky wicket. That's a sticky. It's wicket. just bad movie making. Well, is what it is. we'll agree to. Agree. Let's take a quick break. <laughs> Let's take a quick break, and we'll uh, come back with the wait what's and the what the hallmark here on deck the hallmark. Two words. First word. Back. Second word. Pew. Blaze. Yeah, back blaze. Mm. Guys, I am so sick and tired of trying to figure out what's the freaking cloud about. I don't know. And I don't have time to figure it out. That's where back blaze comes in handy because for $7 a month, you can get unlimited backup for your Mac, for your PC with no gimmicks, no add-ons, no gotchas. Your movies, your music, your photos, your videos, your projects, all the data. Back blaze has you covered. Uh, and they've had over 1 million, nope, 1 billion gigabytes? What? Backed up and, man, 
What? Sheesh. That's wild. <laughs> 55 billion files were stored for customers. This is crazy stuff, man. Yeah, just the cloud and all this stuff. I don't get it at all, but it's phenomenal. Take take the take the confusion out of the cloud. Go over to Backblaze and and you'll be good to go. And they're going to give you a 15-day free trial. Just by going to backblaze.com slash deck, you're going to have plenty of time to upload and download some files to see how it's all about. 15-day free trial. Go to backblaze.com slash deck today. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, yes. We're talking God Wink, and we're here with the Wait What. See if we can gonna, find one. It's just I'm airtight. Gonna, oh, man. I'm going to start with my good friend Panda. Panda, what you waiting and what you wanting? Oh, uh, guys, there's several things. Let's start off with the fact that this guy fails preaching class <laughs> twice. Uh, <laughs> as somebody who has legitimately gone through preaching class a handful of times, I'm not here to tell you that in seminary it's one of your easier classes. I'm not here to say that. However, in my yes, experience, it's one of the easiest classes yes. you could possibly yes. take, yes. mainly because they build into the fact that some people aren't gifted public speakers. Nevertheless, they maybe feel called into something. So they, uh, they're they very concerned. But I, to fail preaching class, not once, but twice, that is next level. I'm telling you, as somebody who has graduated, that is next level. Do you bad. know how, how rare it is? <laughs> oh, my gosh. To be told from a professor that you shouldn't be a pastor. At a seminary. At, at a, a seminary. seminary. That needs your tuition money. Yeah. That doesn't happen. It is rare. But how about this? This guy not only is told that, not only fails once, but he saddles back up and he tries again. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, and then, guys, buckle up. He fails again. It's crazy. How? How do you do that? That is next, I, I don't, guys. Stop I don't. It. I don't know how to express. Like, I mean, yes, you should not be. If that's a, what seminary is he going to? These guys are cutthroat. <laughs> or maybe right. he's just. What did he get up there? Uh, oh. To do. I tell you maybe what. Maybe we'll look at the Bible. Maybe we won't. It's a wild card. I but it's, it's I tell just, you what. The uh, the University of Phoenix. They don't just give anybody a seminary. Degree. <laughs> I really wanted to be a phoenix, and I'm not. Unbelievable. I don't understand. Uh, phoenix. Uh, I got. I got my masters from University. See a Phoenix, and I am one. I just want to be very yeah. shout out, <laughs> shout, shout out, to Phoenix. Shout out to Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, at one point, and it shows. Yeah, you're, I know you're flying, I'm a baby. Phoenix. I'm on fire. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you rise from those ashes. That's right. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what they make everybody that graduates do on graduation day. They give you your diploma virtually, and then you got to sit there and go. Caca! That's right. It's just one caca after another. It takes a very long time to get through graduation. It's a, cacoph it's a cacophony. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Phoenix. sorry, I'll see myself out, everybody. <laughs> that was awful. Uh, at one point, going back to Eric, a lot of these are centered around Eric. I feel bad for him. Uh, he says <laughs> <Do> that... <you? laughs> no. Here we go. He says that working with his dad has allowed him to do anything mechanical or electrical. <laughs> Guys, as he plugs the Christmas lights. As he plugs the Christmas lights. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna ace with the electrical. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what a uh, dummy, dumb, dumb. Guys, dummy. guys I, I, I know at this point this seems so minute compared to the rest of it. They don't care about HIPAA laws. They're just sharing this guy's. No, <laughs> just yeah, toss it no. out there. Um, and then uh. I just uh, the final the final weight. What I have is. This guy has just crashed. His, his his vitals have bottomed out. Um, it takes forever for nurses to get in there. In fact, yeah. no one actually does. Joy has time. Somebody has time to go get Joy, bring her back to the room. She comes back. His vitals immediately go back to normal, to which the doctor then responds, all right, everything looks good, and then leaves Joy alone in the room. <laughs> I, I don't... I, I'm concerned about him as a doctor. Maybe he's at the same place that Eric tried to go to seminary where he got his doctor. I don't know. This is wild, guys. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's what I got. It's a wild ride out there. Uh, uh, Patrick? You know what's sad is I have that? 12 weight what's and you took none of them. <laughs> I've got more, dude. I had to limit it. I I'm have. I have. You, this is the most weight what I have is ever just had. The gift that keeps on giving. I'm praying that you guys take some. I, I didn't even mention the grueling deadline of a 300 word article in the weekly nonprofit <laughs> newsletter. Right. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. that's a big time. It's big time. <laughs> it's tough. I don't know, Patrick. Uh, Patrick, what you got? 
Oh boy. So, um, yes, well, I didn't like write down quotes, but like something that I was like, wait, what was like, why did it take her so long to tell Eric that she had a boyfriend? Like mm. they were together for two weeks. That yeah. was, that really actually made me angry because when I'm in a relationship with, with a, a nice person, then I would want to have open and honest communication. So if I'm dating somebody, I would obviously tell someone who's clearly flirting with me, um, that, I'm in a relationship and and it's just like not she does everything like, possible aside from physically cheat before she tells him that she is in fact in a long-term five-year relationship and he's buying her house like, yes. yeah yeah I, that, that was, was crazy to me and and okay if this is based on a true story which it is and all these god wings are which is which is a wait what to me too because I'm like what <laughs> no way um like if I was this uh, character, if this character was based on me, I wouldn't really want that in my movie about me. You know, I'd be like, let's leave that like part out. Or like maybe I tell him a little bit sooner. Not well, like right really as throw, we're... throw her under the car as well in this movie, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Um, and then the other thing that I was like very confused about was like, okay, he gets run over by the car. Eric does. Um and it was very scary when like they show the shot of him like in his like bodies like on the road like in like a, a chalk man type of uh, outline thing um then the doctor like the the in in owner like is also a doctor and he's like hey guys i was at this um liver seminar today and i learned this special technique and i wouldn't have been able to um save eric if i didn't do that it's a god wink huh and then he like winks and like everyone's like wow that's such a god wink hooray for us like how did his liver get injured i don't understand why it was a liver surgery and it was very strange that he was just like in a class just like uh just dropping by a class i don't know like is that what doctors do they just go to classes a Chris, uh, christmas there. eve liver class yeah you know the one yeah and they rush back home i don't know thank goodness it was it was very specific like a, the thing with all of these everything in this movie is that it was so so specific that you're like i don't know why we chose to go well, that far deep into it what's right? wild is is we we have a movie once upon a christmas miracle also known as christmas delivered where we have a movie about a guy who gives part of his liver to a girl and they fall in love and get married not a gobbling movie it came out in 2018 we had the real Great life movie we had the real life couple on our show it's a wonderful story they've clearly fabricated so much of this story there's no way a doctor on Christmas Eve was taking a liver surgery class. What, did they say it was Christmas Eve? Well, the night well, he performed the, yeah, it. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. And he was doing it that morning, and he was on his way back. Isn't that everybody? I mean, I don't doubt. Here's what, my thing. With the Godwink stories, I don't doubt that any of these events occurred. I don't. I, I don't doubt that there is, because I think, I, I really do think he probably had the class. I don't, I, I think the chronology is a little interesting apparently but. that he got run over during the summertime according to one of our double deck okay okay so and, and that makes the movie just like uh, like you said watching so uh, uh, you're not in is, class is we have a real we have a real Christmas story delivered it's a movie about this actually happening and they made it and they crushed it and they didn't need to make this world that god wink tries to do yeah okay. to, to make it a god wink no. That's what kills me. Like, what's not Godwinky about this dude going, I don't really know this girl, but I'm going to give her part of my liver, and then they fall in love. That sounds like a freaking Godwink to yeah, me. This is just nonsense. But you believe it happened. I believe that he got run over, and then he lived. And the doctor, you don't think the doctor had the The, the day class? of the surgery? No. Do you think the I, vitals I, dropped when she walked out of the room? I think that someone probably... <laughs> said that i don't think it consistently did that no i think well, it happened one time i think they were fine she walked out they dropped at the same time that's what i think happened i, I don't i don't why doubt do the you, credibility of this, the story when did you stop believing in god that is not what that's i'm, what I'm getting all. out of this gosh atheist boy pa patrick do you have any more <laughs> um no it's just like all too convenient like that's right if like if, if i'm not familiar with the the real story of this but if it t took place in summer you know we're just kind of like tweet the writers just kind of tweak things to fit into the narrative that they want for the movie so then it's not really about the people that or the god the god that's winking happening to yeah that's right. so i don't know i don't really like that so you uh, I, to to i'm sorry to interrupt you patrick but to give me a hard time <laughs> 
about not <laughs> believing in God. What I'm saying is, is this trivializes nobody. Belief in God. Uh, it was a, it was a, what the kids call a, a joke. Dave. I know. We're all with you. But here. the my whole point is, is this trivializes the whole thing. That's why it, it it's probably more offensive to people that actually believe in God than the people that don't. People that don't are like, yeah, that checks out. It's just random. <laughs> Whereas the people that believe in God are like, this is not how it works at all. Right. It's it's absurd. Well, sorry. Go ahead, Patrick. <laughs> oh no, I am I am done with the wait what's because <laughs> I the whole movie was fun. <laughs> um. All right. So Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Bagosh. Oshkosh, Bagosh, Wisconsin, is nowhere, is eight hours uh, from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. And I, for the life of me, I can't figure out why the Oshkosh Fellowship, that's only taking four people, are promoting this in Columbus, Ohio. Why? Well, half why of, are the flyers half taking Half of place? their fellowship is from Columbus. Uh-huh. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're why are, why are they throwing flyers? Why is um, Kenny uh, uh, out there giving uh, speeches in Columbus, Ohio? I don't know why he's in Columbus, Ohio. Kenny. Why? Why is he there? I don't know. And that leads me to this. This fellowship is weird. This is a weird fellowship. I don't understand this fellowship that half the time you're doing this thing that you love and the other half yeah you're helping construct houses uh, which again is great go uh, please do that but i, I don't understand it, I, I said in my notes can someone explain this gap year program for 30 somethings to me yeah <laughs> which it, is what it is it's just two weeks it's long. a two-week gap year program for 30 somethings where you get a mentor for two weeks and you help somebody construct a house in, instead of trying to find a job. Yeah. I mean, it, just call if it's a service project and a mission trip, great. Great. But this is some weird combination. It's a weird fellowship. This is great for people who are 19. It doesn't work for people who have to pay rent. Yeah. It just doesn't. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I hated every time they said the word gamer, and they said gamer a lot. I just mm, wrote that down, did. didn't like it, made, mm. me, made me feel weird. Um, <laughs> they're passing out flyers for... Uh, uh, something, some party or something. I don't know. Cody Frizz. And uh, they're handing out flyers, and he runs up, and he just hands the Dude, flyer. That's the weirdest scene of this movie. <laughs> and uh, well, gosh, what does he say when he hands? I, him I got the flyer? it written down. Go if, ahead, go if ahead. You'd yeah. Like help. Um, uh, he f- catches this woman who is on a. She's work at, working out. She's yeah. exercising. He's out of breath. He hands her a flyer, and he says, "It's a casual <laughs> affair. Feel free to <laughs> run by." But not at this pace because you're killing me. And with no other information about then, what is a casual affair. And But why are you trying to keep up with her? And it's not her fault that she's <laughs> running that fast. She's trying to exercise. You're trying to catch her a hand or a flyer. Can you, uh, how would you feel if you're out for a, 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 your nightly run and someone runs up and be like, it's a casual affair. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, that's terrifying. Uh, and that's you, why you carry mace. Can you imagine if, that's you're, you carry can you imagine if you're out for a run and someone runs up to you and says, slow down, I can't catch you. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what he says. Uh, um, so she, she breaks the news. Uh, hey, I... You know, got I got a boyfriend, <laughs> and <laughs> and he's like, ah, listen, I can't help you here. I got you. Got to figure this out on your on your own. The next scene proceeds to slow dance with her, yep. and help her figure this yep. out. Yep, yep, yep. Sure does. <laughs> he sure wouldn't does. be a good pastor. I, I listen. He <laughs> should, he wouldn't be a good pastor. So I like it's good that he failed. I think what Pan is getting at here is that it's very impro. It's very. It is very hard to fail. Yes. It, it, but he's it, doing it. it pro- <laughs> listen, listen. The world would be a better place if they told pastors that shouldn't be yes. pastors that you shouldn't be pastors. Right. But they don't. That's what I think we're yep. getting at. It does not happen often. Doesn't happen I, often. Or, or let me say it like this: If if he fails a class, I don't think it's preaching class that yeah. he fails. It's it's another class that he ends up just it's like Greek, on. Hebrew, like Greek, Hebrew, <laughs> good freaking Maybe luck, buddy. Yeah. Something like that, no, bud. Dude, go ahead. My Greek guy, hermeneutics. Sure. My guy crushed Hebrew, but, but he couldn't deal with he, the he just is like, oh, I just, I can't deal, put it together. Can't do it. Um, I've never been more offended for Kringles. 
Oh my goodness! What was that? And my and my entire like angel food cake listen, with icing. You know, you know, we love Kringles here. We have a Kringle sponsor. We're seeing Danish Kringle. Kringle.com. Go get you some Kringles. Yep. Whatever was was it? Whatever this was here in the movie was not a Kringle, and I was offended. It did not look good, and it did a disservice to the wonderful treat that is Kringle. So disappointed. Please go buy a Kringle. Try a Kringle. They will change your life. This was not that. Everything else in this movie gets a pass. What doesn't get a pass <laughs> is the disservice oh my gosh. that this that they did to Kringle here. Why write Kringle into this movie if you're going to use that? Pa Patrick, have you had a Kringle? I have not had a Kringle, but I, I could tell that was not one. And we got to we got to we got to send we got to send Patrick. Kringle. We do. Yeah, and also, do. you live in Chicago, like you're in the Midwest. Like that's, surely there's Kringle in be Chicago Kringle right? around, buddy. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't eat baked goods really. <laughs> You don't eat baked goods? I mean, I eat bread. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Say no more. Patrick, uh, do you I need like, a hug? I'm like, I'm like Oprah, okay? I love bread, all right? That's all I know. I love bread. I don't like pastry. Um, yeah. My last one is, did they bring the whole candle set up to the hospital? Yeah, they did. They yeah, brought they the did. whole candle set they up to the hospital. five of those bad That's hours. bold. That's big commitment, and I big appreciate time. it. Uh, Dan? Um, all of the following things, every time there's a God wink in this movie, you hear a chime. Chime. According to this film, all of the following things are considered God winks. Go ahead. Handing an application to someone. <laughs> Sharing a cab. And the fact that they might have met as children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read them again for those Baptists in the back. <laughs> Handing someone an application for the fellowship you're trying to recruit people to. God wink. Okay, stop there. I'll make an argument for that one. That's a God wink because without, without that happening, he, he would have never met her. Got it. And gotten run over. Without an application, he wouldn't have been in the fellowship. He wouldn't have been in Get the fellowship. Get out of town. Unbelievable. Sharing a cab. Okay, so that was big because they got to talk. They wouldn't have talked, they wouldn't otherwise, have talked otherwise. At the fellowship. At the they're because there's only three other people in the right. fellowship. You never know when you're going to talk to them. <laughs> and the fact that they could have, could, good luck here, they look and they go, oh, well, I both went there. We both went to that church. Maybe we met as kids, but they don't know for sure. <laughs> Chimes. They could have met as kids. What do you got, B? I, got, I, I don't have anything for that one. Um... Uh, <laughs> Those are God winks in this movie. Hey, probably. I have a fun God wink. This is true. Okay. Let's hear it. When I was 10 years old, I drove through, I, I lived in a different town. We drove and visited my current town where I live and we drove past my wife's home. God wink. Yeah. Okay. I guess. But I mean, here's the thing is our, our resident heckler, Beth Smith is in the chat, you know, just fact checking us on all the things that really happened in this story. Beth, we're not saying the story didn't happen. What we're saying is one, there's a liberal use of Godwink here that just waters the whole thing down and makes it dumb. And two, the story clearly isn't good enough for the movie makers on its own. Because yes, I'm sure the guy went to the class for the liver surgery. And I'm yes, but they, it didn't happen on Christmas Eve like this. And, and it's... They're toying with enough of the facts that make it ridiculous. And then they add these as Godwinks that are just not Godwinks. They're not even close. Um, the first scene of this movie is the, the girl and her boyfriend and her dad. And they make a joke about needing to bag up the rest of this food. And there is no joking about having literally 20 pounds of food on the table There's for three people. It is the most food I've ever seen for three people in my life. We are, people are going hungry. There are starving children everywhere. You have enough food for your entire neighborhood to eat. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm serious. Um, at one point, uh, I believe uh, our leading lady says, my mom, who is a nurse, would say, Patients don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Mm. I am sorry. Mm -hmm. I have done this bit on this show before. I would rather have a competent, skilled nurse that doesn't care about me personally than the reverse of that. Mm. When they're finding a, a vein to stick a needle in, I don't care if they know where I went to high school. I want him to be good at the job. I, I, that is just patently false, right? Mm, you wouldn't get it, I don't think. Well, cause... they missed me six times, and now I've got hypertension. But, you know, they did ask me about my favorite <laughs> sports teams. Stop it. 
Just stop it. <laughs> um, someone comes up with a name for the thing they're doing for this family, and they go, I've got it. We'll call it Operation Home for the Holidays. And someone just stops cold in their tracks, like they just said the name of the movie, which they didn't, and they go, <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, it's like, you know, a C minus. I mean, it was the it was the obvious name on the table. Brilliant is a is a stretch. Um, this guy who failed his preaching classes and can't figure out he wants to be a columnist for dang near all of the runtime of this movie. He writes an article and the editor goes, congratulations, man. You made the front page. And then he proceeds to hand him a two page laminated. <laughs> A, t- a, a single sheet <laughs> laminated front and back. So I've got to be honest. If your article is on a single sheet front and back, depending on which side you pick up first, you have made the front page. You've made it. You've made it. You know what? That's a beautiful way to look at that. That's a beautiful way to look at that. You've made it. Some people might say you're on the back page. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. It My all friend, depends on how you look a, at he's it. He's a glass half full kind of guy. <laughs> I, I just can't believe they had the audacity to be like, hey, hey, sport, front page. <laughs> There's one page. One. It has to be front page. Um, I do want to be clear. She ends a five-year relationship and then flies to start a new relationship the same day. Stone cold. <laughs> That's brutal. Stone cold. Yeah. Yep. Ends a five-year relationship. That's brutal, man. And flies to start a new relationship on the same day, but my biggest wait what is the big time big city New York publication that wants regular columns only from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. <laughs> I'll say it one more time. There is a big time big city New York, what appears to be newspaper that wants regular hard hitting columns, but he they want that columnist to stay in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, to write the columns. They'll call this the the, <laughs> the column Oshkosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oshkosh, oh A my weekly gosh. story that you won't believe. Yeah. From Oshkosh. From Oshkosh. And it's a good thing we took care of the truck running him, him, he, him running himself over with his own truck in the fields. That yeah, helps. That, that, that helps. helps. Uh, let's talk about what the Hallmark Spire show. We wonder what it could have been. Maybe having give some clarity to the questions that we still have. Panda? Uh, I want to know what the imp- uh, there's several questions i want to know how they were able to salvage the computer because that computer <laughs> is burnt to a crisp burnt to a crisp uh the other thing i just want to mention about this is what they thought um it meant when the fire destroyed everything cuz glenn says the fire destroys has destroyed everything uh-huh. uh and then they go in and they look at just the computer and they go i can't believe that this is all that's <laughs> left <laughs> I I don't think I got how bad it was. That's a direct quote. And now I just want to know what they thought (laughs) the fire destroyed everything meant. Because when I hear that, I everything, everything, I, I think they kind of undersold it with the computer still being left. I got to be honest with you. Uh, That's that's where I'm at. Yeah. Patrick, what are you still wondering about? Well, I'm still wondering about Tony and his muscles and um, what they're doing. What are they up to? Uh, you know, we didn't see enough of Tony. I, I like that guy. He was a nice dad. He he clearly works out. Um, so I want to know what he's up to. Maybe he's divorced and maybe he's, um, you know, Switch teams. Uh, I'm here. I'm here for you, Tony. You, uh, not that you've it's given a lot of big maybes. Not that you've given it any thought. But uh, <laughs> well, the actor follows me on Instagram, so <laughs> he's in lifetime stuff, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's like a lifetime murder guy. Well, you can he's take, always like the the murder boyfriend. Yeah. Well, you can take this clip and you can post it and uh, <laughs> see what happens. Find out. Right there we go. There we go. Uh, it's a God wink. God wink. God wink. Um, I want, I have a pretty good, pretty good suspicion that this fellowship is a cult. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I just need someone from this movie to confirm because otherwise it makes no sense. The only way it makes sense is if this fellowship is a cult. True. Otherwise it's, it's nothing. So I I just want somebody out there to confirm Mm -hmm. it for me. Dan. 
Uh, yeah. So in this movie, this girl has a five year relationship with Danny, breaks up with Danny on Christmas Eve, right? Yes. Christmas yes. Eve, you bought me a house, break up with you, fly, and uh, all these Godwinks happen to put these two kids together. If all of these are Godwinks, what is happening to Danny in this movie, and what do we call those? Uh, <laughs> listen, Dan, there's no reason to Godwinks in mysterious ways, and sometimes it's a real bummer. So do you think Danny, who's just taking it on the chin all movie, <laughs> just like getting socked in the mouth all movie, is like, another Godwink? What you, I'm Job. What you don't <laughs> just keep it's just keep coming. Just leave me be, God. What, what you don't know is God when God winks, there's like a big tailwind behind us. That's right. <laughs> and if you're behind God there, you're gonna get blown over. And that's where Danny was. Danny was on the oh, receiving man. end of the tailwind of I, God. I like to think that Danny Danny recovered nicely after this <laughs> and that things got better for Danny. Because hey, when when the Lord shuts a shuts a door, he opens a window. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Uh, we did it, everybody. Congratulations. Uh, Patrick, tell we'll go what's that? We'll go ahead and let Patrick do his thing. Patrick, I, I believe we have a double decker. We of the do week. today? Yeah, yeah, yeah we Patrick, do. Patrick, tell everybody about how they can read your stuff and see your things. Oh yes. Okay. Well you can find me at lifetimeuncork.com, uh, where I post all my reviews of Hallmark and Lifetime movies. Um, yeah, and I'm on all the social medias at Lifetime Uncorked or at Patrick Miguel. Love it. Double Decker of the it's Week. Wonderful. It's where Panda does a deep dive into one of the double deckers who have signed up at BrainwellGenPlus.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you know things that no one else knows. Uh, they all have such interesting occupations. Really, it's really, really fascinating. Uh, Dan, who do we have today? Stephanie Preschel. Stephanie Preschel. Mm. Stephanie Pressure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's Frommark uh -oh. 55. Fro you know what? You know what? Frommark 55. I hope, I, hope, I hope you have a wonderful life. Go ahead. Uh, she uh, she has started a uh, new company, uh, and I think you guys are going to really, really vibe with this. All right. uh, we all know that during the holidays, sometimes you have to get around family, and things can get a little tense. Well, she has a company called Taking Sides. Uh, that will come to your family gathering, and they will always take your side. Sides. Sides. They're going to okay. take my, my, uh, my so sides. So a group of people. They're going to come, and they're going to take all of the sides though, because sometimes around the table, aren't they? That, that, is, that is accurate. They're yes. going to come, and they're not going to take the meat. They're going to take all the sides. Take the sides. Help clear, help clear it out for you. I hate this company because I only want are they, the sides. Are they taking the sides after we've done... We're done eating. Done what we've done? Uh, yeah. Th that way, it, they, no it's leftovers. It's just a cleaning service. No, no, no. They'll eat them. In front of you? <laughs> I, I don't ask questions. I'm just telling you, I already have. That way, you're not having to pack them up. You hate packing up sides, I, don't you? I, do, I don't eat leftovers as a rule. Yeah, exactly. So this is perfect. There's no waste, Dan. Yeah, but, is there ever but they're taking okay. it, right? Yes, they do take it. Stephanie, I don't know if this is a good business model. I think it's a great business model. How many people do they send? Uh, well, it depends on the family gathering. Cause if you have like 50 people in your family gathering, you're going to need at least four or five people to go clear the sides. Right. So what? I would say uh, now my thing is they send about, uh, you know, five, 10 people. Wow. To clear the sides, clear the sides. All right. Take the sides, take the sides. All right. Take Stephanie. sides. Uh, I, all right. I like it. Uh, we did it, everybody. We're going to be back tomorrow with another episode. Patrick, you're the best. Until then, may we be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com. We're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights.